Today in this lecture we are going to talk about hypertension in preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy. Basically we are discussing types of hypertension due to combinations of volume loading and vasoconstriction. So we have discussed a few of the topics and now today we are going to discuss hypertension in preeclampsia or hypertension in toxemia of pregnancy. So basically how hypertension occur in preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy and basically what is preeclampsia or what is toxemia of pregnancy basically uh, preeclampsia is a condition which occurs in around 5 to 10% of pregnancies and it is uh, basically a combination of hypertension and uh, pedal edema and uh, protein loss in urine now we are not going to into the detail of uh, toxemia of pregnancy regarding its diagnosis and treatment uh, because we are discussing it uh, from the physiology point of view so we are basically focusing on its uh, hypertension only how hypertension occurs in preeclampsia basically there are two theories one says the exact mechanism the exact mechanism uh, how it occurs is uh, not like 100% uh, confirm but there are theories one of them says that there is ischemia of the placenta and the second theory says that there is thickening of the kidney glomerular membrane in the preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy now when we go with the ischemia of placenta we see that in preeclampsia there is ischemia of the placenta and placenta is basically a structure a tissue which basically takes nutrients this is the uterus of the mother here we have this red colored uh, pre uh, sorry placenta this placenta basically takes nutrients from the mother and with the help of this coat it provides it to the baby now when the blood supply to this organ this placenta is decreased this is known as ischemia of the placenta now due to the decreased blood supply of this organ there is a release of some toxic substances some substances toxic substances from the placenta those toxic substances they cause dysfunction of the vascular endothelium dysfunction of the vascular endothelial cells now this dysfunction of the vascular endothelial cells occur throughout the body but it also occurs in kidney and basically we are discussing the role of kidney in long term regulation of the arterial pressure so that's why it's important to discuss this point now we see this is a blood vessel and inside the blood vessels we have some cells which are known as the endothelial cells and due to the toxic substances there is dysfunction of these endothelial cells when there is dysfunction of this endothelial cells they decrease they decrease the release of there is a decrease in the release of vasodilator substances normally vasodilator substances like nitric oxide like nitric oxide normally there is a release of these substances from the endothelial cells of the blood vessels but when they these toxic substances they get released from the placenta these substances cause dysfunction of these endothelial cells so that there is a decrease in the release of those vasodilator substances like nitric, nitric oxide now when there is a decrease in vasodilators ultimately we have the vasoconstriction these vasoconstriction occurs vasoconstriction can also occur throughout the body but when it occurs in the kidney it leads to decreased fluid filtration into the tubules we see this is a tubule a glomerulus and tubule of the kidney we have structure of the nephron here now due to vasoconstriction due to vasoconstriction which is basically due to the absence of vasodilators vasoconstriction occurs here vasoconstriction occurs here and this blood vessel this blood vessels in the nephron or in the glomerulus it gets constricted the di the diameter of these blood vessels decreases so what occurs then that there is decreased fluid filtration into the tubules 
the fluid filtration which is occurring here at this point it decreases and more fluid starts accumulating in the body because this fluid ultimately becomes urine now when there is decreased fluid filtration into the tubule there is a decreased release of volume there is accumulation of volume inside the body and finally there is impaired net ure, net ure, net uh, net uresis there is impaired net uresis what is basically natriuresis natriuresis is basically the, re, the 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 filtration of sodium when the arterial pressure increases when there is accumulation of volume there is increased fluid in the body the arterial pressure increase due to the arterial pressure increase in arterial pressure normally there is more filtration of the sodium and other ions into the tubules and this is basically known as natriuresis and due to the preeclampsia or the toxemia of pregnancy the, there is impaired natriuresis this filtration of the sodium or other ions from the glomerulus into the tubules it also is impaired it also decreases so both these uh, things occur there is volume loading and there is vasoconstriction and both of these things lead to development of hypertension so this is one theory about development of hypertension in the preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy the second thing is that there is there, this is also a theory these are basically two theories So the second theory says which is also speculation because we don't know according to the textbook we don't exactly know how it occurs how the hypertension in preeclampsia or the toxemia of pregnancy occurs but it is speculated uh, from different types of researches that there is thickening of the kidney glomerular membrane when there is a uh, there is thickening of the glomerular membrane these are the basically glomerular membranes and they become thicker if we compare this uh, glomerular membrane with this glomerular membrane we see that the glomerular membrane over here glomerular glomerulus is basically a combination a bunch of blood vessels which is formed from the blood vessels coming towards this bowman's capsule and which is basically leading to the tubules of the kidney so the, here we have we can see that the, the this glomerular membrane is normal here we see that it has thickened it has thickened so when it has thickened so the filtration process is decreased there is decreased glomerular fluid filtration here we had enough filtration but here the filtration has decreased now is the filtration process has decreased the pressure required for normal urine formation increases now these blood vessels these blood vessels they have to increase their arterial pressure to due to the accumulation of fluid and due to the vasoconstriction they have to the increase the arterial pressure so they can push more fluid so they can push more fluid here so they can push more fluid here for normal urine formation and this increase in the arterial pressure here over a long time leads to elevated long term arterial pressure which basically leads to hypertension in preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy now why this thickening of the glomerular membrane occurs here why toxic ischemia in the placenta occurs these things are not exactly known but these are two different theories about the hypertension caused uh hypertension that is occurs in preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy and uh, basically both this basically this hypertension is a call is a type of hypertension in which there is a combination of volume loading and vasoconstriction and these things basically occur at the level of kidney so we can see that uh, there is a role of kidney in uh, regulation of arterial pressure in hypertension of toxemia of pregnancy as well to summarize this topic we will see that 
the hypertension in preeclampsia occurs uh, due to uh, two two phenomenon one is basically the ischemia of the placenta and the second is thickening of glomeru kidney glomerular membrane hypertension or preeclampsia uh, basically occurs in around 5 to 10% of the pregnancies and one component of preeclampsia is hypertension there are other components there are other components but one component is hypertension and the hypertension occurs because there is ischemia of this placenta over here ischemia of placenta over here leads to release of toxic substances toxic substances causes dysfunction of the vascular endothelial cells these there is dysfunction of these vascular endothelial cells which basically leads to decrease in the release of vasodilators due to decrease in vasodilators vasoconstriction occurs vasoconstriction occurs throughout the body but we are discussing role of kidney so we see that there is vasoconstriction occurring at the level of kidneys as well this vasoconstriction in these glomerular uh, vessels leads to decrease fluid filtration decrease fluid fluid filtration into the tubules as well as impaired natriuresis both of these things lead to volume loading because fluid cannot go into the uh, tubule so it is accumulated and it leads to volume loading and similarly vasoconstriction is occurring here as well the second thing now these thing leads to development of hypertension and the second theory about development of hypertension is that there is thickening of the glomerular membrane thickened glomerular membrane when we compare this glomerular membrane with this glomerular membrane which is normal it requires more pressure in the blood vessels to cause filtration because thickened there is decreased glomerular fluid filtration the filtration here is decreased due to thickness of the wall of glomerulus so it requires more pressure in the arterial pressure and more pressure for a longer time leads to elevated long term arterial pressure and which basically leads to hypertension so this is all about hypertension in preeclampsia or hypertension is toxemia of pregnancy thanks a lot for watching the video